Hello friends, this is Anand Pai from Academy in Pursuit of Engineering Excellence. Today we will continue our series on fluid mechanics. In that chapter 3 fluid kinematics, today we will discuss the topic translation and linear deformation of a fluid particle and we will derive an expression for linear strain rate. Now when we talk about deformation, there can be two types of deformation. One is shear deformation and linear deformation. When I consider shear deformation, shear deformation is when in a particle the angle, included angle changes. Whereas linear deformation is like having a compressive or tensile strain. That is its length changing in perpendicular direction, keeping the angles between the fluid element is same or the included angle inside a fluid element remains same. That is called linear deformation. Now we will discuss strain rate, linear strain rate. Now in solids, the prime importance is a strain because stress is proportional to strain. Whereas a fluid does not offer any resistance to straining. What it offers resistance is to rate of shear strain. How fast you induce strain based on that it offers resistance. That is why it is important to discuss strain rate rather than just strain. Now before we go for strain rate, let us understand what is translation. <coughs> translation of a fluid element is ha happens when the dimensions does not change and only the location of the particle changes. Like if you see here, the particle which is there at x1, y1 at time t1 has moved to x2, y2 at time t2 and x3, y3 at time t3. But as it moves, the dimensions that is delta x and delta y has not changed. Now here the distance between any two consecutive position is given by velocity into the time. Like in the x direction it is u into t2 minus t1, in the y direction it is v into t2 minus t1. Now let us see along with the translation if there is linear deformation then what happens. Now we will consider a flow field in a Cartesian coordinate system x and y where u is the velocity component in the x direction and small v is the velocity component in the positive y direction. Now let us take a fluid element with, with dimensions delta x and delta y which is initially positioned at positions a, b, c, d which moves after some time to a dash, b dash, c dash and d dash. Had it just translated and not deformed it would have been in the position a dash, b double dash, c double dash and d double dash. Now the distance between a and a dash would be u into delta t and in the x direction and v into delta t in the y direction. Now this is the same distance between d and d double dash, b and b double dash, c and c double dash whether we take in the x direction or the y direction. Okay, so now let us see what is the distance between B and B dash, the deformed B and B dash. Okay, so now here the distance in the y direction is given as V plus dou V by dou Y into delta Y into delta T. Now how does this come? Actually the velocity at point A is actually equal to V. So V into delta D will give the distance here between A to A, A dash. But when you consider B to B dash, the velocity at B is not small V, but it, it increases. It increases to V plus dou V by dou Y. This is the rate at which the velocity changes in the Y direction. Now we have to keep in mind if it is translating, then V is only a function of y and u is only a function of x. Only then it can have linear translation. Otherwise it may have angular, it, only if this is the case it will have linear deformation whereas if it was x and y it may have angular deformation also. Okay. So since we are considering linear deformation we will discuss only u as a function of x. This is a major thing which has to be there. Now since v is a function of y, we have to see how much is the rate with which it is changing. Okay? 
dou v by dou y. This is actually the this particular thing is Taylor series expansion. Like if you say delta v, we uh, if we consider then we have v plus dou v by dou y into delta y into delta y square divided by 2 factorial into dou square v by dou y square and all those things. Here those higher order terms have been neglected. Okay, So this is the thing. So now if we consider this way then what would be this distance between b dash and b double dash? What would be the distance between b dash and b double dash? That would be this particular term minus this one. Okay, And that will give dou v by dou y into delta y into delta t would be b double dash to b dash. Similar way, the distance between d and d dash would be u into dou u by dou x into delta x, the whole into delta t. And the distance here would be, the distance here would be, I will rub this off, the distance between these two would be dou u by dou x into delta x into delta t would be this distance. Now let us go further. Now I have reproduced that uh, figure again. Now deformation in the x direction, if we see, this is the deformation d double dash to d and that is given by dou u by dou x into delta x into delta t. Now when we consider strain, what is strain? Strain is deformation by original length and the deformation by original length and deformation is d delta x in the limit if we consider this is how it comes and this can be written as epsilon this is what we use for strain epsilon x x that is dou u by dou x into delta x into delta t which is same as this divided by delta x which is its original length original length is delta x a to a dash to d double dash or a to d okay so the strain would be dou u by dou x into delta t because delta x and delta x cancels. Okay. Now what is deformation rate? Deformation rate is given by deformation per time that is del d delta divided by dt. This can be written as dou u by dou x delta x delta t divided by delta t and this would be dou u by dou x into delta x. Similar way if we consider strain rate, strain rate would be dou u by dou x into delta t divided by delta t. Now this would be dou u by dou x and that is epsilon dash x x. This is called the strain rate. So in the x direction the strain rate, the linear strain rate is dou u by dou x. If you consider strain rate has a unit of 1 by x. If you see u, u is distance by time divided by x, distance cancels. So it is 1 by time is the unit of epsilon x x. Similar way in the y direction it would be epsilon dot y y is dou v by dou y. V is the component of the uh, velocity vector in the y direction. So this is very very important in number of exams as well as to understand how the strain rate is there. I hope you have understood this students. If you have any doubts or you need any clarification, you can put it in the comment box. Okay, And kindly subscribe my channel, hit the bell icon so that you could get the notifications. And thank you very much.